okay, here's my part two of reviewing Rebels because my computer glitched, so I had to end the video short notice. I didn't realize it was going to be part two, but nonetheless, making a part two. Um, yeah, I have stuff to add. This is not the only one I don't like. Uh, I still don't like Zeb. I think Zeb and Ezra are definitely the two that I definitely dislike. So, how would I fix it? Have, instead of, you know, kind of Zeb kind of be that heavyweight, because, you know, you know, because you could compare Zeb to, like, a talking Chewbacca who's worse to start with, and, you know, you know some of the charm of Chewie's is, is how he doesn't, as he speaks a different language, in such an iconic language. So, yeah, um, you could fix that by having Rex. By having Rex be that heavyweight, you know, because... Rex is a character that we know and love more than we love Zeb. Zeb is, yeah, good to crack jokes in it, if, you know, but I think watching a show, I would not, I'd rather prefer someone I know and love, because every time Rex is on, Rex, Ahsoka, Maul is in an episode, it's such special and so valuable that I think, it would have made the show more enjoyable if you had Rex in his place. And who would replace Ezra? I'd say Wedge and Tilly's. That's actually a pretty interesting idea. But I definitely I definitely would say Wedge. Because number one, it's a character you got glimpses at. You get to... Because one of the charm of Clone Wars is you get to further explain characters, new characters and characters you love. And get a good mix. I think in Rebels you get all new characters, and the characters who came back from Clone Wars really was not well utilized to their potential. Ahsoka, I feel like, was well utilized. I like her twist. But then, as far as Kanan is concerned, I like Kanan, I like Hera, and I like Sabine. Sabine's really... Sabine, Hera, and Kanan are some of the saving, gra saving graces of the show. You know, because... They're, they all have great backgrounds. You know, the fact that Sabine is a Mandalorian adds a lot of depth to the fact that we know who Mandalorians are. We know their history. And because Sabine is a Mandalorian, I like the fact that they well utilized the fact and was able to go to Mandalore. And I like the state it was in. Obviously, you know, it wasn't a good state, but I do like how they further accept Blind. And as far as Kanan, I like the idea of how you didn't fully understand it, but you got glimpses of her as his past. But obviously, I just showed you in the last video that I have a novel, um, a novel of his past. Um, and I really do like um where they where the this the novel took his his story. But I definitely like, and of course the the relationship between. Between Hera and Kanan, I think was good. Obviously, because it's a kid show, and you know, a, a tar their target audience is not my age. It's like people who watch, like young, young. It's like fans who just are getting started with Star Wars. I'd say, yeah, fans who are just getting Star Wars, Star Wars is kind of like their audience. Um, but. And for someone who's a big Star Wars fan, and a big movies fan, and a big TV show fan, yeah. But I definitely think it was definitely undercut at some moments. But I definitely think out of all the different relationships they kind of built, which this was kind of like the only one, it was well utilized. Um, They were hinting at Ezra and Sabine, but it never really went anywhere. I think with it went more with that one episode with The Wedge than it did in all four seasons with Ezra, because I felt like Ezra was kind of that like new kid, and then like... Sabine was like, nope, the whole time. I think with that wet until he's instruction, like I said, that was one of the greatest, like, unique episodes of season three. And I think in general of Rebels is because um, we definitely got to see, you know, the relationship build. Not build, I meant, like, hinted at. And suppose Wedge took in over Ezra's place because I do think you know, the show is not, is not, I think it wasn't intended to be, it, it's not good to intend, it's not intended to be focused on 
Jedi. It's Rebels. It's about the Rebels. I thought it was a bad idea to have Jedis in the first place, but I do like Kena. I do like where he is in his relationship. Because think about Rex. Think about, I'd say you could, I'd say about, think about having, maybe not Rex start off with the team crew, but join the crew. Maybe they only have three members, or three members, then they get Wedge, and then they get, you know, Rex, I, because the dynamic of O'Kanan's, o- you know, can't tr- fully trust the clones because of his past, that's a good dynamic. Um, And then Wedge and, yeah, and then Wedge and Sabine, that would be a good dynamic. So I think that would just over, that would just, yeah, in a minute, and just in, in general, kind of love. So I think that's kind of my overall um, thoughts on where where rebels can go. But overall, it it, it caused more questions than answered, and it was definitely showed that. I mean, as far as continuity, I'm fine with it being you know a Star Wars universe. I just think I don't know. It's more Star Wars. It's more Star Wars, but not really the... It's more Star Wars, but not really the Star Wars we know and love. But that's kind of my thoughts. So, yeah.